everyone and welcome to another tasting video. I thought um, today, since it's Ramadan, I would do a tasting of dates. Uh, I have got a selection here. I don't know if you guys can really see. I don't want them to get out of order. There's, I've got, I think, 12 dates here to try. And kind of every country around here says they have the best dates and everyone has opinions on what are the best types. So I wanted to try a bunch and see what I thought. Um, I've also written, you know, actually did some research about dates. Um, so if you see me looking over here in a second, you'll know why. Um, dates, you know, are not only a big deal here because of, you know, nutrition reasons or, you know, just family reasons. It's a cultural thing here. Um, dates are one of the few fruits that are mentioned in the Quran. Um, they're also mentioned over 20 times in the Christian Bible. Um, they're said to have been the main part of the Prophet Muhammad's diet. Uh, to Muslims, dates are considered sunnah, which means the Prophet's way of life. Uh, they're used in Ramadan to break the daily fast um, you know, every day. They're also you know, eaten not only during Ramadan, they're a staple of the diet around here and are served like at every event. Um, funerals and weddings, simply, you know, family meetings, if you're receiving a guest, you know, anything like that. If it's an Arabic gathering around here, there's gonna be dates and they're definitely gonna be delicious. Um, you can bet, you know, whomever's house it is, the woman of the house has done her best to source like the best dates, um, which is kind of cool. Um, it is estimated that the date palm, uh, Phoenix, what is it, Dactylifera, originated in the Fertile Crescent region you know, between Egypt and Mesopotamia at least 50 million years ago. Um, they've been a staple food in the Middle East and the you know, Indus Valley region for thousands of years. Evidence of cultivation was found in Eastern Arabia, stretching back between 5530 and 5320 BC. Um, so, a long darn time. Egypt used dates to make wine, Neolithic peoples in Pakistan cultivated dates, ancient Rome used uh, date, you know, palm fronds to symbolize victory, um, as well as kind of like an exotic, you know, plant decoration in villas. Um, they didn't grow the dates because of the climate, but they could grow the palm. Um, dates, you know, were in the New World, like everywhere. They're in California. They're all over the place in the New World, um, thanks to Spain who brought them in 1765, so they're kind of a big deal to everybody. Um, date cultivation is really kind of cool. Um, they can be naturally wind pollinated, which you know, is the old school way, um, but manual pollination is how they generally do it now. Um, either like modern commercial growers or the traditional oasis growers, so like, you know, grow it around like a, you know, the old school type, you know, artisan growers do it. Um, in nature, pollination occurs uh, with an equal number of male and female plants, um, but with help, one male can pollinate up to a hundred female plants. Um, male plants don't generally bear fruit, uh, but the flowers can be sold at market. They're still good to be used as pollinators um, and for other things. Uh, manual pollination is often done by laborers on ladders or by use of a directed wind machine, which that's just got to be an interesting job. Um, whichever the hundreds of varieties of dates you have, the fruit is all oval cylindrical. So, no, don't die. Like this. Uh, 1.2 to 2.8 inches long and ranges in color from bright red to bright yellow, which I haven't seen any of those, so I can't wait to see some of those. Um, all contain a single stone in the center and fall into three categories. Soft dates, or barky dates like this. Is this focusing? Focus. And let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Stop. Oh, it could be barhi, Holloway, Kondrawi, or Medjool, which Medjool is what we're most familiar with, I think, in the States. Um, semi dry. So I'm assuming this. Well, that's still soft. Maybe this is a semi-dry? Maybe this is semi-dry. This might be semi-dry. I'm not quite sure. It didn't say anything about color. 
Um, these are also called dairy, dairy, no, it's something else that it corrected to dairy. Um, deglet, nor, or zadi, or dry date. And I think this is a dry date. Um, which are called thori. The type depends on the glucose, fructose, sucrose content. Um, dates ripen in four stages, known by their Arabic names as kimri, which are unripe, kali, which are full size and crunchy, rutab, which are ripe and soft, and tamar, which are ripe and sun dried. I'm sure I butchered all of that. Leave me, <laughs> leave me comments below if you know better. Um, Nutritionally, dates have about um, 11,078 calories of energy per 100 grams, with 75.3 grams of carbs, 63.35 of those are from sugar, 0.39 grams fat, and 2.45 grams protein. Dates are also full of essential nutrients, provide a good source of potassium. Aside from the 80% sugar content, dates also have protein, fiber, a ton of trace elements like boron, cobalt, copper, fluorine, magnesium, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Dates are also a really great source of calories, especially in this area of the world, and can sustain your life even in these harsh desert climates. If you have 15 dates, you have enough calories and enough nutrients to survive if you can't find other soups food sources. As long as you have water, 15 dates, you're good. Um, I mean, you're not good, but you're alive. Um, and they also last forever. I can't, I saw something about, you know, dates that are, I can't even remember, super, super old being eaten and it was fine or planted and they were fine. Like, you know, dates are kind of a miracle food. It's, I wonder why they're not more popular, you know, in, in America and in the West because they're yeah, you know, kind of great. Um, so anyways, let us get on to the tasting as a little bit jumps at the door to be let out. It's not happening, little one. All right, so what do I have here? I have got, so I didn't, I couldn't find consistent information. So I found some types of dates and then some that were just countries of dates where they came from. So. I did what I could there. It wasn't always like super, super clear because I think a lot of people know um, and I don't. So let's see, This uh, these first three are Jordanian. This one, um, this light one, I don't know what this is. I couldn't find a name, uh, but it is Jordanian. So let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. And it tastes kind of like um, brown sugar. Mmm. That's like, that's what it looks like inside. Focus! There. It's like pillowy and ooh, that's like caramelized brown sugar. That's good. Um, this next one is called Ajva, A-J-V-A. Um, this is another Jordanian. Is it the type? No, I got nothing. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's different. This one tastes like a prune. Just know that's generally what the inside looks like. Here's the pit. If you haven't seen one before. Focus. And it's the same in all dates. Um, oh, that's good. Um, this one is also Jordanian, and I don't know the name. This tastes more what I'm familiar with with the date. It's sweet, it's dense, it's good, it's chewy, it tastes like candy, basically. Mm. Okay, let's see. These are um, Iraqi. No, this one's Iraqi. I don't know what kind. 
Um, but this is our an Iraqi date. Mmm. Mmm, that's sticky. This one's really sticky. It's good. Mmm. There's almost a touch of anise or like licorice taste. It's really sticky. It's like much stickier than the other ones. Like the first one was pillowy and like soft and sugary. But this one is more like, like sticky, sticky. It's good though. Um, let's see. And this is Iranian. I don't know what variety again. Oh, oh! This might be a different kind. This might be that um, semi-dry kind. Mm, yeah, I think those were all soft, and this is this feels like a different texture. This is really like chewy, and I don't like it as much. That's not as good. It's really like chewy and a little bit less tasteful. Um, it's still soft on the outside, but it's more like leathery kind of feeling. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, this is a Tunisian date, and all I have is in my notes is it's been conditioned. I don't know what that means, but this was sold in a package, like a plastic package, as opposed to being loose like the rest of the dates that I bought. This is fruity. This is, yeah, you can taste that it's a fruit here. Wow, that's interesting. Almost fermented tasting, like a bit. And the outside is very sticky and like a little glossy and like, not wet, but like sticky. And like half of the package had like some weird spots on it. So I ate the one part of this from that and I threw out the best. Um, okay, let's see. No, oh, these are the ones that I bought from Carrefour. Um, one variety of these next, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these next four are from, six are from Carrefour. Those last six were from the Souk. Um, next six are from, or and last six are from Carrefour. One is from the UAE and five are from Saudi Arabia. Uh, let's see. What do I have? First, I have the one UAE. Awesome. So the rest, of the, this is the only UAE, the rest are Saudi. This, oh no, sorry. No, it was to care for. Uh, this is called Fard. Uh, do I have anything that says Fard in my list? No, I don't know what this means. Um, so maybe this is a variety. This might be a variety. Um, since this doesn't look like it is any of the types. So, yeah. This, let's see. Ooh, this is really soft and squishy. Mmm. Mmm. This is sticky. It doesn't have much of a taste. Like at all. And the inside's kind of golden. The outside's really leathery. Maybe this is one of those semi dry ones again. Um, really doesn't have a lot of taste at all. Hey! You! Little one. Sorry, little one. <laughs> He's trying to partake. Oh, okay, so this is a Sukari date. Come on. It looks like this. It's got it's a little bit fatter at this end. Um, this kind of date, people, I've heard people saying are the best. I don't know who, I don't remember, but some people say this is the best kind. Stop. Mm, it's nice. It's very fruity. Um, you can taste that it. it's a, a fruit. 
but it's also nice and caramelized tasting kind of like that first one i really like that first one the best i think um but yeah this is nice and this feels like it's probably that semi dry or this might even be dry because it's pretty it's pretty hard um, when you squeeze the top it's pretty hard um yeah this one's pretty darn good okay i feel, I feel you let's see what is this oh i should tell you the price of these last ones i don't i didn't keep the price of the first ones did i no i did not i should have uh, this first one the fart is 23 reals per kilogram this is 65 reals per kilogram yeah this is really good put the ones in the middle that i want to finish uh yeah i like that a lot okay let's see what's next ajwa okay so this is ajwa it's dark it might be kind of like that second one that i tasted that was ajwa i mean it might be the same deal this whoo this is 154.75 reals per kilogram. This sucker's expensive. Mm. Yeah, it is like that second one. Mm. It was good. It tastes like a prune. It tastes a lot like a prune. Oh man, this is great. Mmm. Mmm. And it's sticky like a toffee. Oh, this is good. Okay. I get it. That's a delicious date. Mmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. Mm. All right, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, this is Sagai. S-A-G-A-I-B-A-Y-A-R-A. -A -A so, Sagai Barra? Barria? Um, no, this is cheap. This is 49 reals per kilogram. It doesn't really taste like much. Yeah. I really don't have a lot of taste at all. Yeah, I think these cheapies really don't have a lot of taste. Oh, this is kind of looks like that last one that doesn't have any taste. So maybe that's just that variety just doesn't have a lot of taste. Yeah, it's okay. Not offensive. Um, this, next to last, is a Safawi. S-A-F-A-W-Y. And it is 55 reals per kilogram. Mmm. That's one's pretty good. It has taste. Um, it's a little pruney. Um, a little brown sugary. It's got a nice little taste to it. This is pretty darn good. I like this one. I don't know why it's so cheap. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you on the table? No, we're not getting on the table. I know. Don't look at me like that. Mine, not yours. Okay, let's see. So we have one left. I didn't get any medjool, did I? Did I get any med? No, I didn't. I didn't get anything that I knew was called medjool. Hmm, maybe next time. Hey, feet off the table. Thank you. This is the last one. It's called Mabrum or Mabrum. It is 80 reals per kilogram. Mm. Oh, that's one good too. Mm. This one's very pruny. Very pruny. I feel like it's semi dry. It's really chewy. Well, like, not like you know, chewy, but like toothsome i suppose you would say instead of chewy um it's good yeah it's got a little minerally taste to it which is nice um yeah i quite quite like that one hmm. put one of those four in the middle <laughs> that i want to eat <laughs> one two i don't know but yeah so that was me tasting my way through some dates um, I will do a little bit more research for you guys, and if I find any more that I can, you know, more directly compare or more things that I know are varietals, I will let you guys know and do another tasting. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. I know I did, and I always love an excuse to nerd out over things. Um, thank you for indulging me, and I will see you guys on Friday. Love you. Bye.